Doug Proper from the Guitar Specialist in Bedford Hills, New York, here to talk to you about Howard's Total Vice and some exciting new products. The Crossover Mini is a vice for vices. It gives you a full range of motion on two different axes for any vice, any jig, or any fixture you could be using in your shop. Of course, the full complement of vices available from Total Vice work with the system and allow you to reach an articulation and a full range of motion working in any position you could possibly imagine for any kind of work you have to do. Jeff makes a whole complement of conversion plates so you can use any jig, any fixture, and virtually any vice you own in his system. For example, here's the parrot vise. For you classical builders and repair people like me who like to use a Solara board, imagine having access to virtually any instrument at any angle for any purpose conceivable. Also coming from Total Vice is something I'm very excited about because I designed it. It's the new Proper's Guitar Workstation. Getting a guitar set up in the workstation is as simple as adjusting the cross beam to where it needs to be for the body, adjusting the peg head support for the particular guitar you're putting in the workstation, and strapping it in. There are two iron posts for you to strap into. The tail block hold down telescopes to virtually any size guitar and locks into place. And once that's in, that's not going anywhere. Now, I can work from virtually any position on the guitar I need to for any task you can think of. Let me show you some of the things I can accomplish with my new workstation. First and foremost is fret work. This has to be the most comfortable experience I've ever had doing fret work. Keeping a guitar up off the bench, immobile while I'm working on it, not only keeps the guitar from laying in a, a sea of tools on my bench, but it keeps the guitar up away from all of the detritus that's gonna fall on the bench, the fret dust, the wood dust, and what have you. Let's see how I set this up for doing frets. Firstly, we have two pedestals that telescope up and down the full length of the workstation. They're at two different heights, and they are purposely set up to be nothing more than a steel plate. We wanted to be able to create the most modular workstation you could come up with. Limited only by your imagination in coming up with calls that you can use in conjunction with these pedestals. Here we've got a neck call that I can position anywhere under the neck along the full length of the neck. The shorter one I can use with a wedge call that I can slip up under the body. Now I've got full support anywhere I need it. While threading, the neck support supports me while I'm threading anywhere up and down the fingerboard. My heel block support in conjunction with a scissor jack placed under the heel 
or under the fingerboard extension gives me all the support I need for hammering all the way up the fingerboard without the need of a fret buck. When I'm shaping fret ends or crowning frets, I like to stand on the opposite side of the guitar from where I'm filing. In other words, if I'm crowning the treble side of the frets, I'm standing on the bass side of the guitar. And the opposite would be the case if I'm filing the bass side of the frets. I get to work from both sides of the guitar without changing my position. While we originally conceived the workstation to be for fret work, we quickly realized we had something that would do a whole lot more. Let's take it over the bench and I can show you from there. When it comes to structural work, I haven't found anything that positions a guitar comfortably for almost any job. For example, if I'm doing bridge work, hovering over a bench has got to be the most uncomfortable thing you can do. By removing a bridge or doing bridge repairs, I can now access 100% around the whole bridge looking directly down on the top, whether I'm doing a bridge re-glue, a removal, a new bridge or a bridge repair, I have access to the entire bridge. Moving further, if I'm doing bracing work on the inside of a guitar, I can now access any brace I need without even having to bend over. If I'm working way back in the guitar, I can get all the way up to the fourth brace on the back of the guitar. I can work easily on the upper braces. If I'm working on top braces or the bridge plate, I can stand up and I can reach every part of the guitar and lock the guitar in any position for any kind of repair that I'm doing. You want to know if I can work on a guitar face down in the workstation. Of course, the answer is yes. I could be working on back cracks. I could be working on binding. I could be working on repairing a neck. Imagine being able to make a nut, not only without having to bend over, but I can work from either side of the guitar and see what I'm doing, no matter what the angle of the nut. Thanks for hanging out today and letting me show you both Proper's Guitar Workstation and the new Crossover Mini. We're really excited about it. If you want to see more, you can check me out on Instagram, at Guitar Specialist Inc. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to Jeff at TotalVice.com or at TotalVice on Instagram.